Okay, so I already hate this video and technically it hasn't even started, but gotta face you square on. So, I don't know. This could be one of two things. It could be terrible or it could be horrible. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Those are like the same things. Um, I'm just in a weird mood, but I also want to film and I also really especially want to try to film this video idea. I don't know how this will go or how the reaction will be. I don't even know how I myself am going to react to this type of thing. But let's just try it and skip this intro, scratch it I guess, and explain very briefly and then just go. So this is going to be a meditation slash affirmation type thing, vlog, video. I don't know, I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to try my hardest to meditate and try to ignore the camera, but also share with you how I meditate or try to. I have racing thoughts like all the time and it's hard for me to go blank, like I can be speaking and go blank, but I mean quiet my mind and center myself, ground myself and have a mind refresh. My brain, my head, it's always spinning, always going. It's like 10,000 miles an hour and it really helps to slow down and this experience right here, right now with you guys joining me, I want to try my hardest, my very best to just be quiet and to just be one with myself. The best time for me to meditate, it's through prayer and it's also in the bathtub so two unique things some people might do those things some people might not i don't know if that is a thing or if i just made that up but i like to say my prayers on my way to work or school or wherever i'm going like errands for example i like to say prayers on my way there or on my way back home and they're just out loud they're to myself or to god they're about my day they're about manifesting things that I want and it's a prayer, it's a way to meditate and it's an affirmation per se. So I like prayers for that specific reason. It allows me to self-reflect and self-evaluate and this is still a long intro and explanation. I'm sorry for that. But also going to the bath thing, let's just go to the bath. No, just kidding. Um, I don't like bubble baths. I just like the water to be clear and pure and fresh and warm and I just want to enjoy the natural water itself and I just feel closer with nature. I don't like water and I don't know if this makes sense or sounds weird. I don't know but it just helps me to refresh by refreshing my body. So sometimes I'll bring my phone, sometimes I'll have music in the background, sometimes I'll read a good book in the bath but there are times where I just put those things away or turn everything off and I try to turn my brain off too. So I'll say it out loud very quietly, usually while I drain the water and I don't have the bath too full because that's expensive and it's a waste I feel like, but you know, enough to feel comfortable and feel refreshed. Anyway, so as it's draining, as I watch it go down or close my eyes or just feel the water leave my body and exit the bathtub, I like to say just very quietly, very calmly to myself with pauses in between each phrase, each line that I repeat or come up with. I will just say some motivating, inspiring things to myself that can help me throughout the rest of the day to almost survive the day. I might feel overwhelmed or anxious, and that's a part of why I find myself in the bath, and I just need that cleanse, that mind refresh, a reset per se, that allows me to be kind to myself and to find myself in that crazy hectic day that I might not have preferred otherwise. Might have been a hard day. I don't believe in bad days. But anyway, so so sorry that this was rambly, but I just wanted to explain that and record my saying that for future reference if I'm curious to look back or if you are maybe something you had to hear or learn from maybe but anyway I'm just going to go and I don't really know what I'm gonna say I don't really have a script I didn't memorize anything I'm just gonna
create notes in my head, I guess, and just speak them out and let them flow. So things from my heart, mind, body, soul, I'm just going to be one with myself and express that and share that. So this is meditating and affirmating. Affirmating affirmations. So you can repeat after me during my pauses. You could, and then I promise I'll say this and then get going, like proceed. But you could repeat after me, you could put in your own phrase, instead of my words, you could put something else in the gaps, and you could replace my name with your name. I like speaking to myself, I like using my own name. It's more personalized and individual for me. So anyway, okay, three and two and one and zero and go. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Um, I would clasp your hands together somehow, put them in your lap, or um, like hold them like you would a prayer. If you pray like this, I wouldn't do this. I don't know why some people do. I don't know if that's a religious thing. I don't know much about that, that form of whatever. Then you have your legs like this. Is that making fun of anything? I don't know, but I just like to have something in my lap. Okay. <coughs> One and two and three and three and two and one and zero and go. My name is Emily McAllister and I am me. My name is Emily McAllister and I am brave. My name is Emily McAllister and I am smart. My name is Emily McAllister and I am kind. My name is Emily McAllister and I am a friend. My name is Emily McAllister and I can be a friend. My name is Emily McAllister and I am capable. My name is Emily McAllister and I can do this. My name is Emily McAllister and I can dream this. My name is Emily McAllister and I can be this. My name is Emily McAllister and I can do it. My name is Emily McAllister and I can inspire. My name is Emily McAllister and I can inspire myself. My name is Emily McAllister and I can inspire others. My name is Emily McAllister and I can inspire the world. My name is Emily McAllister and I am in a good I am a good example. My name is Emily McAllister and I can be a good influence. My name is Emily McAllister and I can write well. My name is Emily McAllister and what I write can help others. My name is Emily McAllister and I will write books. My name is Emily McAllister and I can make books great. My name is Emily McAllister and I will teach. My name is Emily McAllister and I will help kids. My name is Emily McAllister and I will bless my own life. My name is Emily McAllister and I can do life. My name is Emily McAllister and I can make my dreams come true. My name is Emily McAllister and I can help others find their dreams. My name is Emily McAllister and I will forever dream. My name is Emily McAllister and this is my life. My name is Emily McAllister and I love life. My name is Emily McAllister and life loves me. My name is Emily McAllister and this is my prayer. My name is Emily McAllister and this is me. My name is Emily McAllister. Okay, so I don't know how awkward or weird that was, but I do feel a switch inside of me I do feel a calm and a peace, and I did forget to say those words. I didn't use those words 
I kind of forgot about them. I usually find myself repeating the same words and phrases sometimes if I'm in the bath or on the road singing a prayer, as I call it. Um, peace and calm are words that I try to emulate and be like. I want the definition of those words to be me. I want those words to define me. You can't really be defined by a word or by one thing or one aspect of life, your life, this world. But if I could pick words to define me, there are some certain words and phrases that I want to be, that I want to emulate, that I want to influence. And I do feel a little bit of a reset. I brought up some things that I love, things that I want, things that I want to be. And bravery is something I want to be, especially because my anxiety is so bad this time of year and so bad and real in my life right now. And then I want to teach and I want to write. Those are the most important things in my life right now. Two huge goals. I want to get published next year. It's 2K20, 2020 right now. In a year's time, I would love to have my book out there, physical copies for people to buy and read and enjoy. I want to be published. And I might do that myself. I might self-publish with the help of my dad. He's pretty excited about his own book as well. We could do this together. And then I really want to teach. I'm doing school right now. I don't like the idea of being a student. I don't like the act of being a student per se, but it's good for me and it will help me go from the classroom as a student to being a teacher to kids in a classroom. That's just something that I felt so good and strong and passionate about for years. I know that I'm supposed to teach. So those two things, I want those to be my occupations, my careers, my jobs, and I don't want to see them as jobs. I want to see them as interests and an investment and something that I was born and meant to do. And I think that these things, these thoughts, and repeating them, rephrasing them, restating them, I think that can help my life to just flow and I will feel more at peace and more at ease and I'll find myself establishing a pattern and a path to get to where I want to be and that's what I want. I want to work on my mental health. I want peace and calm in my life. I want to be brave. I want to fix my anxiety. I want to work on that area and I pray for that every single day more in depth and more in detail and like I said as I really stressed, I want to teach and I want to write. Those are my two favorite things in this world. The idea of those things, those things in my future, that's what I want and crave and need. And I know that you can manifest, that you can motivate, you can self-motivate. And those things are very important. A lot of people, they manifest their finances, their wealth. And if you believe that you can be a millionaire and you're prepared to work your ass off, and if you're prepared to get to that state, that state of wealth, and I don't want to use the word power, but that's kind of what it is. It's empowering to have stability in your life, to be successful, be it in your job or if you're rich in your hobbies or interests whatever it is, whatever form of wealth it is. We can all have wealth. We can all be rich. To be rich, I think, it's more than your bank account or the green stuff or this and that. I think to have true wealth and to feel truly richly blessed, that's the key, richly blessed. I think it's to have that perspective, that positivity, that healthy, good, solid mindset where you love life and you want it to love you back so you are willing and able and wanting to create a life that allows you. Someone's here. Okay. One second, be right there. And that was all I was going to say. I was going to say how it was going to end. But anyway. Okay. Bye.